Hi friends, welcome back to Reedhead Homestead. It's gonna be such a good day today. I am going to try and get all of my Christmas decor down and I have some errands I need to run. So I'm just gonna hang out with you guys today, show you what I'm up to. I got some new decor pieces that I'm excited to put up. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. First and foremost, my house is a wreck. This thing is a mess. Um, I started getting all of my bins out um, so that way I could start packing everything up. If you guys have seen my house this year, you know how much Christmas decor I have out. So this is like quite the chore to try and tackle all of this in one day. Um, but some of this is new stuff as well. And then a lot of it's just Christmas that I'm gonna start getting organized and getting it all put away. So I'm excited. I got some new stuff for my mantle up here. Um, I got some new garland. So I'm sad to see my tree go because I loved my tree so much this year. Like I can't even imagine what I'm gonna do next year because I love this theme so much this year. So anyway, that's that's next year's problems. I will show you guys kind of how I'm packing everything and we keep everything in our attic. So like typically, let me show you guys. Typically I would use these bigger bins um, but then I was like, oh my gosh, why am I doing that? They're so much harder to get up in the attic. So this year I bought a bunch of the smaller bins um, so that way they're easier to carry up in the attic um, so it's not so heavy. So that is what we're gonna be working on. You're here just in time. <laughs> just in time to help me take the tree down. Are you gonna help me get everything in the attic? Absolutely, I think I'm the only one tall enough. I know. <laughs> it's definitely a two person job, that's for sure. Um, so I'm working on getting all of this down. Here's where I'm at. Poor tree looks a mess. But it is working out what I'm doing and if you guys were if you guys saw how I did all the ribbon this year I was kind of not sure how easy it would be to get everything down so I am just using little teeny tiny pliers is that what these are mark pliers those are wire snips wire snips thank you um, I use a little floral wire to put all this on you know the branches and so I'm just going through and snipping those and I actually kept all of this in one, like I wrapped it around the entire tree. So I'll be able to use this ribbon next year too, which will be really nice. As you guys saw, I keep all of the packaging uh, for all the ornaments, so that way that's how I store them. So although they like are clunky and they take up a lot of space, I feel like it just keeps them nice. So, um, and then I can reuse them for years to come. So I just keep all the packaging and then put them back in their original packaging and put them in the bins, so. They're a little clunky, but it does work. This is always the sketchy part, huh? Yeah. So the bad thing is that makes it for more work for us today is I haven't put all of our fall stuff up there yet either. But it's actually a win-win because... We wanted to do Christmas up in first, so that way we could pull fall out first last, next year. Yes, so it works out in our favor, right? <laughs> okay, so this is a little, little sketchy situation. Um, but it's better than the dumb ladder that used to be on there. We took that off of there because it was so rickety. So I'm just going to start handing these to you. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. Feels so good in here. We have a nice, clean slate for new decor. <laughs> I'm excited. So I picked up this yesterday. Um, it actually goes horizontal. I thought this was such a sweet print. Um, it kind of reminded me of St. John, so that's probably why I like it. So you guys are gonna laugh because these are what I had up there and then I bought these. <laughs> I knew they were basically the same, but since this was a black frame, I felt like it was just gonna be so much black because I also have you know, black chairs and black doors, so I just felt like it would be too much, so I'm gonna do the brown. I actually wanna go ahead and hang all this. Normally I have it just sitting on the mantle, but 
I wanna, it's time. It's time to go ahead and get everything mounted up there, so we're gonna do that next. It's been a long time since we've got this out, huh? Yes, ma'am. Our old house was all block walls, so we made the investment to get one of these, um, and this is a, what is it? Rotary hammer drill. Yep, and this, this little baby <laughs> is awesome. that I am looking for, um, you know, as far as decor wise. So I'm hoping to get to Hobby Lobby tonight, but I am really hungry. So I'm going to make some dinner first and Mark doesn't get home until super late. So I already have some dinner in the fridge for him, my leftovers from lunch, but I am craving an omelet. I saw someone on Instagram make an omelet and I'm like, I got to yeah, we're, it's going down. We're having an omelet and I'm like really excited about it. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my omelets. When your heart is raised and raising at the speed of light And you feel like you got nowhere else to go No, I hold you till the sun comes in the morning light Yeah, I'll keep you safe, I'll never let you go I like to cook the like contents of my omelet first before I put them in there just because I like the onion and the bell peppers and the jalapenos to just be like a little bit softened and then I just have some ham in there um, and then I just put my eggs I do two eggs with just a little bit of milk um, I put some butter in the bottom of the pan and then I just let this sit on it's on like between either low I just kind of keep an eye on it and so you just let it do its thing it is so hard to be so patient to let this thing cook, but every single time it does not burn, it turns out perfect. You just have to let it do its thing. You don't have to flip it or anything, like the whole entire egg will just get cooked. So it's still cooking, but you can see that it's, it's getting there. And once you can see that it's all the way cooked, then I can put my contents in there with some cheese and then fold it over. So that way you don't have to flip it or anything. Like this is the easiest way, but it's just so hard to be patient. But yummy, yummy, it's gonna be so good. are over there having their dinner. I'm gonna have my dinner. Look at this omelet. I know you're gonna want an omelet now. I'm sorry to do that to you, but it's just the way it is. <laughs> it's so good. So I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna head to Hobby Lobby. I did want to take you guys around and just show you all of my new little decorated spaces and some of the goodies that I was able to find last night when I went out shopping. I'm very fortunate that I have a Hobby Lobby and an at home right across the street from each other and so if I go to Hobby Lobby or I go to at home I always have to make my way to both places <laughs> because they're you know literally across the street. So I was I picked up this really cute wreath. I do feel like it's it's really pretty it's just lacking a little bit of something else. So I did find this garland. And I'll use this garland for other things, but I really liked these leaves on here. I thought they were really cute. So I'm actually just gonna cut apart this garland and stuff some of these leaves in here. And I think that will just add a little bit more to it just to make it look a little bit more full. While I'm working on this, I thought I would just chat with you guys for a minute because 
I want to just talk to you guys about some of my goals for this new year and kind of my plans for Reed Head Homestead. I'm going to try to look at you guys and <laughs> not, you know, hot glue my finger off at the same time. Um, I'm going to try to look at you guys, but if I'm not looking at you guys, it's because I'm gluing. Uh, put my little leaves in my wreath here. First and foremost, aside from that, I just wanted to say thank you so much from the absolute bottom of my heart for all of your love and support here. I am like just blown away by 2021. It was such a fabulous year and I owe it all to you guys because Breed Head Homestead would not be what it is today if it wasn't for you guys. So I really owe it all to you and I just wanna say thank you because you know, we started the channel just to be something that, you know, we could share our renovations and share what we have going on and DIY projects and kind of be able to look back on, you know, our projects and kind of just, you know, reminisce on all of those times because as we're going through all of this, we're making a lot of really great memories. You guys have made Reed Head Homestead way more than I ever thought that it could be. And so I'm just so unbelievably grateful and 2021 was amazing. So. I have so many big things in store for 2022 that I cannot wait to share with you guys. So many big projects. Like my list, my list looks a little, a little daunting, but I'm like so pumped about it. I'm very excited and I just cannot wait to share all of that with you guys. I definitely have been keeping to this past year a schedule of you know, uploading weekly. I've really tried to make that pretty consistent on my channel and that's definitely something I'm gonna continue in the new year. One thing I would like to add is to actually start doing more lifestyle videos like this one. If I could get up one lifestyle video and one DIY video a week for you guys, I think that would just be so awesome. I really enjoy the lifestyle type videos because I kind of feel like it helps me connect with you guys. Um, I just, personally on YouTube, if I'm not watching DIY woodworking stuff, <laughs> then I'm normally just watching lifestyle videos or beauty videos. So because I'm interested in that, I feel like a lot of other people are too. And so if you guys like this kind of content where it's just my day-to-day -day stuff, kind of what I have going on, let me know in the comments below because it is one of my goals to try to, you know, put out more of this type of content in the new year. So one of you guys asked me not too long ago, what are my long-term goals for Reed Head Homestead? Where do I see things going? And I don't know, for whatever reason, I, you know, my channel was so new that I couldn't really see like in the future, <laughs> especially when I'm just like project after project after project and I'm just really like in the thick of it, you know? And so for the past few months, ever since I got that question, I really have been thinking about, yeah, what, what are my long-term goals for Reed Head Homestead? And what do I want my channel to feel like and be like? And how do I want people to feel when they come to Reed Head Homestead? And I have really, you know, narrowed it down. And I just feel like I want you guys to be able to come here and just feel so inspired and so motivated and so empowered to be able to do hard things, to be able to do whatever it is that you're wanting to tackle. I just want to inspire you guys to create in your home because I feel like home is like the most important space in your life, absolutely. Home means so much. And so I just want you guys to be able to feel like you can come and just feel so motivated and get excited about projects and just have fun because if we're not having fun, then it's not worth it, you know? We gotta be having a lot of fun along the way. So before I completely run out of daylight and I can't show you my front porch, let me show you guys around. I'm actually gonna start out on the front porch and then take you guys in so you can see all my new little decorated spaces for the new year. Okay, if you're wondering if my Christmas lights are still up, yes, they are. <laughs> I have not wanted to take them down yet, so they are staying for sure. Um, but here's how the front porch looks. So this is the rug that I got last night, this little combo, and I love it. I think it looks so cute, especially between the planner boxes. Um, that extra little detail on the rug, I feel like adds so much. And then here's the wreath I was just working on. So much fuller with those extra little leaves in there just simple and green. Um, I'm just loving the greens and I just put a simple little plant here and I still love my polka dot pillows so I just have those inside my wagon. I still love my wagon. I have to keep it out here so I just popped a little pillow in there, called it a day. We still have the same decor out here um, but I feel like this is so fresh and just transitional into the new year. So coming inside I did refresh the entryway. Let me step back so you guys can see. 
But I got those little vases last night from Hobby Lobby. How super cute are those? These marble chains, this is from the Studio McGee line at Target. Um, that's part of her new collection. And then I did put just a round mirror up there to kind of make this space feel a little bit more open when you walk in. So then coming into the dining room, here is what we look like with the new art. And I did get my mantle all decorated. So I love this new garland so much. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, this is part of their spring collection and I feel like I'm definitely going to be able to carry it into the summer as well. And of course I'm reusing my bead garland. I love it so much. I'm not over it so it's there to stay. I know I keep reusing it but I still just love it so much and love the print and I still need to find something for this corner over here. I did put those candlesticks there and I love the way they balance with you know the black frame but I kind of want something over there, so I'm on the hunt for that. Next up, you guys saw me put this arrangement together, and I just think this is so pretty and so fresh. These um, stems are from Kirkland's, and then these ones are from Target. These look so real, it's like insane. Um, so this is just really simple, but I love the height that it adds to the dining table. And then I did just redecorate my favorite little dough bowl over here with some really simple just filler. And then I'm still using this. I actually got this with my fall decor at Hobby Lobby, but I feel like I can definitely carry it into the new year. So just really simple and green. And I just have a simple little wreath up there as well. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'm gonna cut it here for you guys. But you know, I hope you guys are enjoying getting all your Christmas decor down too. And I hope you feel so ready and inspired for the new year. I hope you guys all had a wonderful and happy new year. And let's make 2022 the absolute best. So thanks for hanging out guys. Always have more in store, so stay tuned, stick around, and I'll catch you really soon. Bye.